Hello, welcome back. It's been a few days, probably a week, and my doggy's here again, um, or more, since my last video. What I'm going to do today is put the sky in this beautiful picture. Um, but I've been held up a little bit, well not held up, uh, was uh, selected as a finalist in the Napier Walla um, National Art Prize, and I've been doing talks around the local area, um, talking to media, newspapers and radio and public appearances. So it's been, um, it's taken me away from this unfortunately for the last few days, but now I'm back. So today we're going to have a look at um, the sky going in. I don't know if you remember the last video, it was the sketch was finished, then I sealed it with the special fixative and then washed it in a light mix of oil and turps. Now it's all dry, beautiful, and ready for the sky. How cool. Keep your eye on this video. Okay, for the sky. Oh, you're a long way down there. For the sky, I like cerulean blue, okay? And then, we add to that, Some red, okay, and it is some some cobalt blue. So these these blues, uh, some white, some white, and what we'll do is we'll start. Mixing that, okay? Okay, we open up our tubes and, and you can see these caps are a bit old. See that? Well, it's very hard to open. Let me put a bit of, a bit of a cerulean blue, which is very cold at the moment. Slice it off with this, like a sausage, okay? Mm. Right. Okay, we'll have to loosen that up. Okay, a bit of cobalt blue now onto the glass palette. Hear that crack. My paints are very cold, they're like frozen almost. They don't like to come out of the tube, so I've got this device. I reckon it's well worth the 45 bucks. And uh, what we can do, if you're having trouble getting your paint out, get this machine, do this. And watch. Ready, set. See that? Way too much for this exercise, but you get the gist. Okay. Take that, take that out. We want some red. Let's see how we go with the red. Okay, red is there. Need, need some of the red. like the pokes. So I'll just be gentle this time. Trying to squeeze. See that? Lovely. That's red. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the same with the white. It doesn't want to open. Okay. It's also good as a supplementary holder. And there goes the top. And then we squeeze that out. Again, we don't want too much. There it is. Okay, there's the white, the red, the cobalt blue, and the cerulean blue. Now we're going to mix it all up. 
to make the sky for that. Okay. okay, now to loosen this paint up a bit, because it is very cold here, I reckon it'd be almost bloody freezing. Well, it's not that cold, but got some liquid here. Give it a bit of a shake. Always shake this stuff up. Okay, that's enough. That's enough liquid. And most people have a little cup or something to hold it in. I like to just pour it on the canvas, on the uh, palette, just a little bit. Don't forget, don't forget, wipe the top. And of course, your little stick. I did a video on that some time back. Okay, put the lid back on and put it in your cupboard if you're lucky enough to have one of those. Okay, now we've got the liquid. We've got the paint. First thing I'm going to do is grab some cerulean blue, right? Um, actually, I'm going to loosen the cerulean up because it's a bit, bit stiff. Can you see that? Bring in a bit of Likwanovich. We're loosening and loosening the cerulean blue with the liquid. See that? It's lovely and soft now. And that. So what we're going to do is we'll look at the image. See that by itself is a bit dark, right? So I'm going to bring in some, a bit of this red, just a touch. Okay. And just a slither, slither of that. Some more Likwanovich. Okay. This is going to be kind of a darkish blue sky, maybe. Okay, then. Um, putting upon it some white. Very small amounts. Don't go too big. Don't go too wild. And when I look at that, we're getting a real different bluish kind of sky there. A bit more red, blue. That should make our plane stand out. Maybe just a touch more white. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start with this onto the canvas. Okay, Ducky. Have you enjoyed that? If you have, tell your mum. You can always see my work on www.yarniartist.com. Or I'm featured on Saatchi online and Blue Thumb. So have a look at them. Okay, so we're going to start putting the sky on. I've got a lovely blue here. It's kind of a light bluey cerulean blue sky, which is nice. And then what we do is we get it all in, block it in, block in the shape, right? That involves coming in close to the plane and just see that just coming around it like so. This way you've got to be very, very quiet in your mind. You just got to go with it. So, see that? And then we'll just start filling up there again. La 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 la. And what I'm going to do in a minute is speed things up so you don't feel bored watching this. Because a lot of people say to me, Can I come to your studio and watch you paint? And I go, Well, oh, you'd be bored because it's like, it's like watching paint dry. Uh, so. 
what we'll do is speed you up in a sec. Let's have a look at this. We're coming in close to this little Zambo Z. Okay. Jumbo Jumbo means hello. Okay, let's go into supersonic mode. <gasps> Okay, so now we've cut in around our 747. Just have a, if you're doing something like this, just got to look back and make sure you haven't missed anything, you know. So, this is, um, this is my next step. And then, like a silly duffer, I forgot to mix, and I didn't forget, I just didn't mix enough paint for the rest of the sky. So we've cut in, all right, and we've got to, let's see there, little tiny bits missing. You just gotta be very anal about the way you approach this style of painting. So anyway, I've gotta mix some paint. My 747 is cut in. It's kind of standing out, which is really good. So I'm gonna mix some more paint and I'll be back to it in a second. Okay, now I'm back and I've got some paint. So I'm gonna finish off the sky in the background. Okay. Keep an eye on this. Oh, by the way, you're going back into space. underestimating I think it's this damn camera on me anyway doesn't matter so that's my dog barking uh, he doesn't know how to talk so he barks it's like some people I know uh, and that doesn't help with my neighbors whistling yeah. so here we go the final dabs of blue well, I don't do dabs, I do strokes. I've met some people that dab. And here's my dog. What are you doing, eh? So now what we'll do is, bye Daisy. What we'll do is get a big brush and we'll just smooth out all the brush strokes, okay? Uh, I just noticed there was a couple of uh, spots that I'd forgot in here, in the wing. So, what I'm going to do is find them. So I have a look at that. It's about halfway along the inch. Hang on. So it would be in there somewhere. In there. Bit of sky. And along here. That's the uh, 747 has like what they call Fowler flaps and they're slotted. So 
you can actually see the, the sky through the flaps. And that's someone take the bins out. I'll probably build, fill that gap in a bit more, but right now, that will give us that sort of three dimensional feel to these Fowler flaps. There's another hole and another hole. You'll see this. Right, that has my Fowler flaps in place. Right, I'm not sure what this brush is. Oh, it's a, it's a cheap one, Montmark Taclon. Okay, and uh, it's uh, about four fingers wide. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Pardon me. So all we do, get yourself a nice bit of rag. I seem to have them hanging around. And just, it's very, very gently, is just take a sweep across, okay? And that will give us that nice flat sky. And if you want to start from areas like that, that'll give you that flatness in your sky. Take a run across the bottom. Keep wiping the paint off so you don't paint everything else. This gets a bit funny in the areas like this. So it's more of like a take a twist to it. And then with areas like this, oops, I kicked the camera. You can go back that way, all right? You can put a bit of an angle on the brush if you want to get it a bit doider. So there you go. I missed a bit just there. So now you have a look. It's good to get a bit of light behind it so you can see maybe a bit through there and that's that's my sky that is my sky so a nice afternoon's work getting my little 747 ready for paint you can see there a lot of detail in this little girl and there she is flying it's flying jack Anyway, that's a good few hours done today uh, on this part two of the ever-growing 747. Thanks for joining me. See you in part three.